What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, we're going to be very casual and laid back and just do a really simple, you know, chit chat, get ready with me. I haven't done one of these since like October, I believe. And I don't know, I always just love just doing makeup and just talking. So I'm going to be doing um, a simple look. I actually have no idea what I'll actually be doing today for my look but I will be trying out a few new products that I've received in the mail from um, different brands for PR packages so kind of a little bit of everything this is a bit of a first impressions a chit chat get ready with me um and yeah that's about it so I'm gonna go ahead and first start off with my brows you guys know the drill and I recently got this PR package from Profusion Cosmetics and it's the beautiful brows six piece brow defining kit um it has it's in the shade medium to deep and it has a brow defining pencil um a brow palette and a brush i believe so i just brush out my brows i just got my brows done two days ago you guys and i feel like a whole new woman i just feel like every time my brows and i'm like i can breathe because i hate my brows are not done okay so let's see I'm going to use the pencil first because I, I can use either the pencil or the powder, but I'm going to use the brow defining pencil. Looks like this. It is double ended. It has spoolie and the pencil. So I'll fold it in on both sides and then I may actually go in this field in the center with the brow powder in the shade Java. We'll see how that is. And I never use a brow powder, you guys, so this should be interesting. Ooh, okay brows. Oh, dang it, I should use this brow primer they have in here, I should use that first. But oh well, okay. So, so far so good, I like it. I do think that the pencil is just a smidget too creamy, so I would definitely apply apply I would definitely apply some kind of powder on my brows first just because it is a little 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 bit um to cream from liking so it kind of I just feel like if I don't use a primer it'll smudge off really easily which that part I don't like but as far as formula um and pigment and just ease of use this is really good so anyways while I'm doing this brow um, how are you guys doing? How's you guys Thanksgiving? You know, I had a great, great Thanksgiving. Um, you guys saw my vlog. I truly, truly enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I did not want it to end. Um, uh, well, low key. I mean, I didn't want it to end, but I was ready to go back home <laughs> after a couple days. Um, uh, but it was a blast. We had such a good time, which is good because, um, for things, I, I, I was glad that we got a chance to do that with the whole family for Thanksgiving because for Christmas, um, me and Dion will be traveling and I'm so excited because we'll be traveling for you guys for our five year wedding anniversary. That to me is just so insane because just the fact that I've been married for five years is insane in itself. You know, you guys know you got married. Well, you guys should know, the, you know, should know the whole story. Got married young. Got, I married him when I was 23 in January 2014. And it is about to be five years with my boo thing. And I can honestly say that I love him more now than I did the day I married him, which I didn't think would, could be possible. But I would not change anything about my marriage whatsoever. Like even our even our, our bad times, because we do have bad times. Like I don't like him all the time. I always love him, but I don't like him all the time. Um, But... You know, I definitely would not change any of that for anything because I don't know. We always say that like him and I are like a really good team or take that back. Well, we say that now, but him and I have come to become a really, I could y'all could go on a whole tangent and a whole rant about our marriage and just like what we've learned and like how far we've come and just like how things were and how they are now. And so I won't even get on that topic, but um, 
I will say though that now and him and I can easily say that we, him and I are such a good team and I and I love that we become a royal unit, you know? So him and I have been together all our 20s. Him and I have been together since our late teen years. And we've literally basically grown up together. And I used to wonder if like maybe the reason why we went through some of the stuff we went to is because we were so young. But when I look back on it, I'm like, no. Because whether we were 23 or 43 or 63, we would have, the things we went through, it, it was going to happen regardless. Just because of who we were as people and just figuring out how to work together and live together. Those are things that are just normal, you know? Yeah, so we'll be traveling for our anniversary, which I'm very excited for. Um, we're going somewhere that I have been dying to go. I would love you guys to leave me down a guess down below as to where you think we're going. But we're, we're just so excited. It's our first, like, real international trip, which I'm excited about. Um, like, we've done, you know, like, Mexico, Jamaica, like, the Caribbean. But this is, like, our first trip across the pond so a whole new continent and I keep telling him that like I'm I'm excited but I'm actually nervous and anxious just because going somewhere where there's like a whole new culture a whole new just a whole new everything it's gonna be really interesting I'm gonna go ahead and apply my shadow base okay so for eyes I'm thinking about using I don't know what I want to use I'm debating between the Balm, the Meat Matrimony Palette or the Urban Decay Palette with this new Laura Mercier Hidden Gems Palette. I actually may do that. So I'm gonna go in right here with the shade Rift, which is a really pretty burnt orange and apply this in my crease. I was, oh, holidays. So yeah, so I hope you guys had a great holiday. I just feel like time you guys is flying by so fast. Like can you guys believe it's basically January? Like where is time going? I think what makes it even crazier is because it's like, me and Dion have been in Austin for two years and it feels like it's been like six months. Like I literally am like, where in the world has the time gone? Which is so crazy because if you guys have been following us throughout this journey, you guys know or remember whenever we first moved here and now it's like our time here is almost up, which I cannot lie, I'm, I'm excited about because... You guys know how, well, if you guys, well, you guys may not know, but I enjoy Austin. I don't love Austin. Um, there's just certain things about it that I am just not the hugest fan of. Um, and I'm looking forward to this moving somewhere, somewhere else. Um, and just starting a whole new chapter, you know. Our goal is to stay in um, Houston. That's definitely our goal. Uh, not Houston, in Texas. Um, that's definitely our goal, but you never know what God you know, may, he may have different plans. Okay, so before I apply any more color, I wanted to show you guys the new Laura Mercier Hidden Gems palette. I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a really pretty combination of shimmer and metallic shades. You guys know, though, my only gripe with this one is the lack of matte shades, transition shades. They do have two mattes in here. They have this really pale cream shade and then a matte black. I just like palettes should automatically have a uh, matte, transition shades you can actually create looks with it because with this one I have to because like with this one I have to have another palette with me to use it I'm thinking about going between these two right here I love this pretty rose gold there um which is what is this star ruby and then the shade here was this plum frost that's really gorgeous so I'm thinking about applying a little bit of a maroon color into my crease so I'm going to go into the Balm Meat Matrimony Palette and take this pretty burgundy shade here, which is the shade Matte Kumar, and just pop this in my crease. And just a random note, but what do you guys think of my, this new kind of setup? It's like, I just decided to just sit in my B&D and just record me doing my makeup, but I kind of like this setup. I feel like it's just very casual. Like even like I'm in the mirror, I just feel like it's just really relaxed and casual. And you guys can still see what I'm doing, but it's not super formal at all, if that makes sense. So I kind of just like it. So let me know if you guys like this at all. Just for more of a casual setup. Now, if I'm doing like a really detailed, you know, like eye look, I would definitely want to be closer up. Like, you know, have a zoom in lens and like really be up close. But I feel like for more talking videos like this, I feel like this would, you know, suffice. Okay, so going into the Laura Mercier Hidden Gems palette, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Star Ruby 
yeah that color and just pack that all over my lid Woo! okay pigment okay this one have to definitely be oh wait yeah okay so this one here is like already breaking up and falling out which is not a good sign okay so the consistency on this one is definitely more of a you have to use your finger shadow because of how powdery it is i'm gonna have to get a small brush just to get right here in this inner corner okay so I have mixed feelings about it because I feel like whenever you press it in, it looks gorgeous. But once you start to kind of blend it out, I don't know, it's like it kind of loses its power, if that makes sense. I think it's because this is really powdery. It's like I wasn't expecting this consistency. So maybe that's why also, but it's really, really on the powdery side. It's like I have so much fallout down here, you guys. So... Just gonna, it's just a wee bit messy. And I also find once I go in to blend out those edges, it's gonna also lose a lot of its power there as well. Yeah, you see how I'm just going in and blending out the edges, but I feel like it the powder is like falling down. Ugh. I wanted to love it so bad, and I feel like it's just not doing what I wanted it to do. Initially, that palette is no for me. I'm sorry. I wanted to love it so bad. This is why I always say, you guys, that brand that don't compare like the brands like don't think that something is better quality just because it's a cheaper brand because like this $15 Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette that I loved is probably much cheaper than that Laura Mercier one just to just just saying so I'm gonna go in with this shade Possess here from that same palette on my finger and actually and mix that in the shade Ballsy and just go over that because these shadows are definitely more on the creamy side, which I do like, so it's not as much of a mess, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on for now. Honestly, I'm just, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> I'm just disappointed, and I hate being disappointed with makeup, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add on my brow color. I'm gonna take the shade Weekender from that Urban Decay palette, which is just a really plain matte cream shade. Just pop this in my brow bone. Going and then taking a little bit of the shade Stranded and just popping that in there as well at the highest points of the brow bone for a little shimmer. Okay, so now onto the face, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Becca Ever Matte Primer and apply this. I'm almost out of this one. Apply this all over. Oh, I don't wanna to talk to you guys about. Okay, so I have really lately I have just been thinking about what how do I want to say this okay so a couple weeks ago if you guys saw me on Instagram if you guys don't you should um I had post I had like reposted uh excuse me a video on my IT stories um of this guy who had gave a speech about influence it really spoke to me because basically his whole speech was about um what it really means to be an influencer and he's basically saying you know how it's important for us as individuals to evaluate how we use our platforms to influence you know our followers and that that his whole speech like really really spoke to me and since that just since that post or whatever I have just been thinking a lot about what I want to stand for. And well, first of all, I've been thinking about, okay, is who I am reflected in my online presence, okay? And just honestly evaluating whether or not if who I am, what I stand for, what I, you know, love, what I dislike, is all of that reflected in my media presence. And... You guys tell me, because in my mind, I think that I am. I think for the most part, you guys get a really good idea of who I am. By the way, for foundation, I'm using the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation. It's one of my favorites. Um, but in my mind, I think I'm doing a really good job. I think that you guys get a really good idea of who I am. And I can tell that you guys do because, okay, I'm a firm believer in you are who you attract. Firm believer in that. 
I think that um, the people that you have that follow you and support you is a mere reflection of who you are as a person because people are attracted to people who are similar to them and not exactly similar but people who either inspire them encourage them people who they can relate to and I feel like the people who I talk to because I talk to all of y'all okay I I, I respond to all to 99 percent I may miss a few but I respond to about 99 percent of my Instagram DMs and messages and comments and the ones that I get just even from just chatting I'm like they get me like these are my people and I feel like that is a reflection of just you guys really get an idea of who I am via my videos and my posts and my captions and my stories like I feel like you guys just get a really good idea of who I am I just feel like if you stand for nothing then you'll fall for anything and I want my on a line community to really know who I am and what I stand for. And that's really important because I feel like so many times and I see it so, so, so often because like you'll find social media influencers or YouTubers or whatever, you know, that have platforms, but they don't use it for anything. Right. And so you don't know really what they stand for, you know, like what they agree and don't agree with, you know, who they support, you know, what they celebrate, what's important to them. I just feel like, and after I had watched that particular um, Instagram video about, you know, with the guy speaking, I really thought to myself and I was like, it like a light bulb went off and I was like, dang, there is so many YouTubers in, uh, people I follow on Instagram who honestly, I have no idea what they stand for, what they're about. And it blows my mind. I'm like, you have a whole platform. And I understand some people are, you know, they don't want to talk about politics. They don't want to talk about, you know, social issues. They don't want to talk about this and that because of fear of, you know, losing brands or, lo or losing sponsorships or they don't want to step on anyone's toes because of this and that. And I'm like, but at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like it's a responsibility to use our platform for the right reason. And I feel like so many people do not do that. And if I, and guys, and again, if, if you guys feel that I'm not doing that, please let me know. Because for me, it's extremely important for me to share with my, basically my online family, you know, how much I love my family and how important, you know, my faith is to me and how important, you know, um, my marriage is to me and, you know, family time. And not even that, but even more, serious things like if you guys again if you guys follow me on social media you guys have to follow me on instagram but if you guys do then you guys know like for example how important the midterms were to me or how important you know social issues are to me like y'all should know by now that i i love being black i'm black mixed with black i love 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 who i am i love my culture i love my people i love celebrating black girl magic and black boy joy like i am all about my community like i mean i accept everyone i love everyone you guys know this but i love embracing and encouraging and just celebrating my culture and i also am often very vocal about things that negatively affect my culture as well I don't want anyone to get me confused and think and just and not know where I stand that's really important to me because I really want people to know where I stand on important issues now I don't talk about everything because let's be real the world is depressing <laughs> but in the same token I also don't want people to be confused with who I am and where I stand and I want people to know, okay, Kyra is about this. She represents this. She loves this. She encourages this and so on and so forth. You guys get my gift. I hope you guys get my, my gift that uh, that's just really, really, really important to me. And just to make sure that I'm using my platform to not only represent who I am, but that I'm also making you guys feel better because the guy was saying, um, you know, how you, that you have to ask yourself, how do people leave your page? Do they come to your page feeling, you know, better about themselves? You know, are you, you know, flaunting cars and bags and this and that and just like so materialistic that people come to your page and they're like, dang, like I don't have that. And they leave your page feeling less than, you know, than they should. Um, or are you someone who is very positive and very encouraging? Um, 
you guys know on Instagram that I am very transparent. I'm like super transparent. I love sharing with you guys how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, you know, that I'm having hard days, I'm having hard times, and I'm struggling with this and that. And I do that because not only is it low-key therapeutic to me, but it also allows you guys to see that, hey, I'm not alone in this. You know, like I'm not the only person who's going through this hard time. But that's really important to me because I feel like we live in a world where everyone wants to be perfect. Like everyone wants to portray you know, a certain image and they want to, you know, look like this and look like that. And just everyone wants to just be, you know, perfect patty, basically. And that is not me whatsoever. I, y'all know, I have no problem telling you guys at all that things is not perfect over here. Okay. You know, because again, like I'm just, hum you know, I'm human just like everyone else. Okay. And I'm not perfect. I'm not, you know, I don't have it all together. You know, my marriage isn't perfect. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not, you know, I, I struggle with things same you know the same things you guys do and so it's important for me to you know remind you guys of that and just honestly just be real so I feel like that's also part of the at least for me I feel like that's part of my purpose and like what God has come on this earth to do is to be a vessel of positivity and honestly just of encouragement of just honestly just like a little small ray of light in this world and I feel like if I'm not using my platform to do that like if I'm not like if I was just posting makeup pictures and with like you know really superficial captions or just posting you know outfit pics and talking about oh well, look at me today and I again not that there's anything wrong with that at all I'm saying that for me that is just that's just not me or, and that's not who I am or what I feel that I'm supposed to be doing if that makes sense all right, so before I move on, I wanna just catch you guys up real quick. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer to highlight under my eyes and my bridge of my nose, forehead, and my chin. And then I set that with my Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder in the shade Medium Deep. Now I'm gonna go in and set my entire face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW48. I'm gonna just warm up the skin and just bring some dimension back to my face. And then before I move on, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyes just to make sure that everything looks nice and seamless. And then I think I wanna add just a little bit of smokiness on the outer V out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade Sparks from that Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette and just pack this on the outer portion, which is like a really pretty, this is a really pretty like red almost. And then kind of drag it into the crease. And then I'm gonna take a smidge of this shade down here, which is a shade Berry Treasure, like a really deep purple with some golden specks in it. Just pack that on the outer V as well. And of course, just go in and blend out those edges. And then today I am going to do a wing liner using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. I'm just a newbie, but I have been loving this liner because it's so easy to use. It's a really easy pin-like liner. All right, guys, so I went ahead and popped on some falsies off camera. For falsies, I use the Dodo Lashes in the style D115. Um, they're really pretty, uh, fluttery, wispy lashes and only five bucks. So they're a good brand to check out. Um, and let's see, I also went ahead and did some blush and highlight. It's the same thing I always use, you guys. I use the Milani Curl Code Blush and also the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And then I just want to go ahead and come finish off my lips and my under eye. So I'm thinking for my under eye, I think I'm gonna go back on with that shade Sparks from that same uh, Bling Boss palette by Morphe. It's a, just a really pretty, I don't know, I've been drawn to this really pretty maroon color. It's not even maroon, it's more like a red actually, but I'm gonna just go ahead and smudge this under my eye with a pencil brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with this fluffy brush in the shade Riff. Just make sure there are no harsh lines under my eyes. And then for the waterline, I'm gonna go ahead and take the LA Girl Jill Glide Liner in the shade Brown. Yeah, it's just a really plain brown liner. Um, I almost did black, but I feel like black may be a little bit too harsh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply brown to 
my water line. So I just went ahead and lined my lips with the MAC Night Moth Lip Liner. Um, for lips, I think I want to try out some of the new... So I got this set from The Balm. It's The Balm Mini Lip Gloss Kit. It has two versions. It's version 1 and version 2. This one here is version 1. And I think I want to try this little mini one here, which is the shade Hello. And then I may top... Depending on how this looks, I may top this off with this really pretty plump Your Sucker Lip Gloss in the shade Enhance. I don't know, you guys know I typically would do like a really pretty or a really soft nude lip with like a really bold eye like this, but I'm feeling crazy today, so I feel like I'll just go ahead and just do a vampy lip with, with this eye look. Ooh, this lip combo is the bomb. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up some earrings real quick and fix this eyelash as it is kind of hanging off right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that and be right back with the final look. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and popped on some earrings and a sweater. Um, the last step to complete this entire look is going to be to go ahead and add on an inner corner highlight. I thought I wanted to do color at first, but I'm gonna just keep it simple since the you know eyes and lips are already pretty bold. I'm gonna go into that same Laura Mercier Hidden Gems palette and take this really pretty champagne shade down here which is the shade Spirit. And let's pop this into my tear duct. And it's actually more of like a really pretty silver almost. A nice pop of glow. I'm gonna just go ahead and wipe away that excess fallout with just a clean brush. So I went ahead and popped that into my inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray and let that soak all in. And then once you've gone ahead and done that, you guys, here is the final look. So it's really vampy, uh, definitely a lot of berry tones going on here, um, but it's very, very fun and festive. And I thought that pairing it with a, you know, a fancier earring could show you guys that this look could easily be like the perfect, you know, night out look, Christmas party look, you know, New Year's look, whatever. Um, which is very, very fun and funky and definitely very nighttime appropriate. Hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and this chit chat get ready with me. Let me know down below if you guys like this setup, if you guys like this style of video. Do you guys enjoy the more casual chit chat get ready with me's um, or the more formal tutorials? Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.